everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to my channel. We are going and doing a little shopping today at Ollie's. So what kind of things can you find at Ollie's? Are the prices good at Ollie's? Do you have an Ollie's near you? We used to travel out to Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Anyone from that area? My sister is out that neck of the woods and there was an Ollie's out there and that was the first time I was introduced to Ollie's. The book department, the book department. If you know nothing about Ollie's, you must know they have the best book department. So we went there, so I'm gonna just show you some of the products that they sell, some of the prices in case you're unfamiliar, maybe you haven't been there for a while. I'm always curious, what kind of things do stores sell what are the prices? You know, we're all trying to stay on budget here. Prices are high. Can you get a good buy there? So let me show you some of the stuff they have.
So, did we get a lot? A couple of bins. So I'll put a picture up here. A couple of bins for some added storage for Christmas stuff. Another thing I wanna do is redo my downstairs bathroom. It's probably been, I don't know, five or six years and I just need a little facelift. Uh, yeah, I could use one and soak in the bathroom. So this is the color I'm gonna go with. When I redo the bathroom, I will do before and after pictures and show you. I still have not redone my laundry area. All my supplies are down there. I have just been working a ton of hours. We do life, we do life. So sometimes I get a great idea and it's delayed, but I will be in a couple of weeks having a few vacation days and doing the laundry area is on the list to fix up. But this is the color I'm gonna go with in the bathroom. This was a thin mat. This was, Four forty-nine. So that's just, you know, your typical bath mat. It's nice and thin to put outside the shower and it is washable. It has the rubber on the Not back. That. And then we also picked up Cheez-It Puffs. I've never heard of this. It was $2.29 for the box. 29 cents for a box of six of these. If you go to a vending machine, you're going to pay $2 and a quarter for one bag. So Really, I got bought one bag and got five free, so I could look at it that way. So, oh, look at this. Yeah. See this? You know what this is? This is called a brown bag. So if you live in New Jersey, we no longer have bags. And you think it's not a big deal, right? You bring your bag with you. I don't even know if I have one around here. No. You know, we bring a tote. And... What's the big deal? Well, it drives you crazy because you half the time you forget your tote and you end up throwing all your food in the trunk of your car and it's flying all over the place because you forget your bag or you go in the store and your bags are in the car and you forget to bring them and ah. So when Ollie's, they didn't even ask, would you like a bag? They just put it in a brown bag and I was so excited. So what's in the bags? Let me get my stuff out here. Okay, what did I get? I just got a few things. I picked this up, Energizing Sport Body and Face Wash, and it was $1.29 by Swab. $1.29, you know, that's like going to Dollar Tree and getting it pretty cheap. $1.29, Slim Fast, Creamy Milk Chocolate, and it ha makes 14 shakes. So my son, they sell Slim Fast, that is for smoothies. This was not that, but this was $2.09. So I got that for him. He loves smoothies and he can make like a chunky monkey smoothie with the peanut butter, use this, some ice, yogurt, and um, a banana. And I think these were all the same price. Yes, they were $1.19. My son, Gavin, once in a while, my husband, I'm not really into this, but they like the um, syrups that you can use in your coffee. So Dollar Tree used to sell them. I haven't seen them at Dollar Tree. They were really good. I think we have a little bit left. Um, my son really liked them, so I would stock up, but these were $1.19. I got vanilla, I got caramel, 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 caramel. I think that's how you say it, right? And hazelnut. So there you Thank go. You. That, oh, uh, two more things. And I picked this up. It was $0.99, cents, and it was called Cinnadust Cookie Mix, and it was by the Cinnamon Toast Crunch uh, Cereal. So for 99 cents, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try it. So what do you add to this? You add a third of a cup of butter or margarine, they said, or spread, and one egg. That's it. And then the other thing is, and I've talked about this before, and these were hard to find this year, but it's the pumpkin bread mix, and it's by Libby. I highly recommend you get them. So what comes in this is you get your pumpkin, your can of pumpkin, and you get your bread mix and your icing mix. Now, I don't use the icing mix. I don't like the icing on it. You can drizzle it on it. I don't like that. But you get your, your can of pumpkin and you get all your stuff. It makes two full-size loaves, but you can do lots of the mini loaves, family of one. Even if you make a full-size loaf, freeze it. It freezes really well. Let me tell you, out of all the pumpkin bread I've ever made, this is the most moist delicious and flavorful you could ever get. So that's all I got for you guys. That's it. Went to Ollie's, enjoyed it, had fun, picked up a few things, kind of just looked around for ideas. Just a quick side note at the end of this video. Hopefully you hung out till the end. 
I want to thank each and every one of you that congratulated me and gave me such encouragement, wonderful sentiments, and um, I cannot live up to half of what most of you said. I am just plain Lynn. This is my home. What you see is what you get. If you meet me on the street, if you've met me at work, some of you know me from work, if you meet me at church, if you meet me in ShopRite, or meet me in Ollie's, you're probably going to find, oh, she is the same person that's on the camera. I don't know how to be anybody different. I'm just who I am. Here's what I'm gonna end this video with. There's life to live, and that goes for you too. So whoever's looking through this camera, you invited me into your home, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you a piece of advice for today. You only have one life to live. Make it the best it can be. Live life to the fullest. What have you always wanted to do? What have you dreamed? I got goosebumps talking to you guys. What is your dream? What is your passion? If your passion is to collect coins, go collect them. If your passion is to try every kind of ice cream that's out there, go try it. Listen, don't listen to anybody else. Listen to your heart. Do what you know you've been called to do by the Lord. If he has directed you in that way, go out and live life. Enjoy life. I want, want to encourage you today to know that there is life to live. And I tell people, just get up and live it. Change it into a positive moment. It's not, this is all I can do. This is what I can do. I want to know in the comments below, what is one dream thing that you want to do and accomplish before the end of your life? Let me know. I'm really curious. I want to see what you guys have to say. All right, guys, catch you on the next video.